So I have a full size printer, you know, normal standard household printer that is, you know, one you use in the home or even in an office, but I don't have a portable one. This is a mini portable printer. And from, from what I can gather, black and white, from what I can gather. So this is the, and I'm gonna read this off of uh, Amazon by the way. This is the Maxton Mini Printer X6 Pocket Printer. Yeah, basically, put it in your pocket, yeah. 2023 thermal photo printer, 203 DPI, inkless portable printer, Bluetooth photo printer, ideal for journal, study notes, memo, home label, so you might want it for home label, and fun work. So in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing, see how easy it is to actually use. I do believe you have to download an app, but we will find out in a second. So on the side it says photo search, to-do list and label printing. What's that say? Massive material, inkless print, long battery life, inkless print. Okay, so it's all down to the thermal paper, isn't it? So let's get it out. I'm gonna see if it actually fits in your pocket. Cause you know what they say, oh, it's, you know, it's pocket size. Sometimes you need big pockets. I think that's it. So instructions, I will read the inst instructions because I need to read the instructions. Maxton Mini Printer. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh, that's interesting. I've got no thermal paper. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy some. I thought it might come with a little bit, but no, it doesn't. So I've got to buy some. That is a little bit disappointing. Anyway, so we have a USB Type-C connection on the side, on off button there. There's a little mark on there, I don't know if you can see that. That looks like for lifting it up or something, I don't know. I guess, oh it is, an, oh yeah it's got paper in it. Oh brilliant, that's better. I was a bit worried that I might have to buy some, but I don't now. <laughs> Good. USB, so it's a USB to USB type C connection. Hopefully everything will be USB type C connection eventually. And it's probably about three, 400 mil. Not even gonna measure it. So yeah, it's about three, 400 mil long. Move that away, and yeah, oh, so it's got little feet on the bottom, like so, USB will be, USB will be, I would say the USB is at the front, so that would be for powering it up, doesn't come with a plug, something you may need to buy it as well, unless you use your phone one, it's got a roller on it, yeah, it's quite nice, yeah, first impressions, yeah, I like it. It's not heavy, it's quite light actually. So with that, I am going to have a good read of the instructions because I have no idea how to use it. I know it's a printer, I know you probably just plug it in and you know you download the app and away you go, but there will be people out there who say, how do I use it, Yorkie? How do I set her up? And we're going to go through that as well. So give me, give me a second. Right, I've read the instructions, not all of it, just some of it. And also, if you need further information, there's a Q code there that will give you a little video of what they made to show you how to connect it all. So I'll watch that as well, just to make sure. So first things first, they're telling you on one of the pages, you need to register it. And there's a couple of reasons why you should register it. One is in case you need help. Two is you will get some sort of discount and three, it's helpful. <laughs> oh yeah, warranty. Yeah, get a year, you get a year's warranty. So that's helpful anyway. So like I said, I read some of the instructions. It says to turn it on, you hold it down for three seconds. And to turn it off, you hold it down for three seconds. But you also need the app. And it says it's called Tiny Print. Yeah, yeah Tiny Print. Uh, tiny Print app. Uh, tiny print, I'm taking it as that one, so I'm going for that one. Install, shouldn't take long. Right, it says connecting, so we need to turn it on. Hold it down for three seconds. Yep, lights on, printer's ready. It says connecting. Let's see if it find it.
Click on connecting. Eh, oh, there it is. That must be it. Connected. Oh, it's connected. Connected successfully. Oh, that was quite easy, wasn't it? Now then, we need to test it. We need to see what it can actually print out. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at practice. All right, photo printing. Let's have a quick look. Oh, right, that's going to my photo printing. I want to do some of their stuff. Graphics editing? No. Cartoonish. AI painting? No. Text extension, document, web printing, banner printing. I don't, none of them. Materials. Oh, materials. Down the bottom here. Look, materials. Right, materials. Let's try basics. Don't forget it's only black and white as far as I know. Architecture. Try that. Ooh. Right. I'm going to try this one first. Print. Oh, it's working. It's quite fast as well. Just tear it off. I'll take it. Can you see that? That's quite good. Nice and clear. Good detail. Let's try something else. Try another one. Let's try this baby. Voila. Yeah. Again, nice and clear. Uh, any more? Any more? Let's try this one. Right, let's go back. What else do we have? There's some flowers down here somewhere. As architect, we want flowers. Uh, flowers. Let's do some flower power. Where's my flowers? Sketch. Try sketch. What's on sketch? Animal. Flowers. There's flowers. And we're going to try that baby there. Print. One more. Try that one. That looks difficult, that one. Voila. That looks pretty good. Just to prove that it doesn't print in colour, we're going to do a coloured one. Because we know it doesn't print in colour. So I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to do, do the monkey. Or the gorilla. Yeah, monkey. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, it is black and white. We want a coloured one, don't we? Not bad, not bad. Not fantastic, but not bad. Let's go back to... Uh, yeah, let's do, uh, that's definitely colour. What else have we got in colour? Alright, let's do this colourful one. Oh, that's black and white. Right, can only print in black and white with it now. Right, it definitely only does black and white. So it doesn't matter what that is, it converts it to black and white. Oh, very good, we'll do that one. Yeah, it's very good. It was very easy to set up, I'll give it that. You know, took literally seconds, didn't it? No issues with that whatsoever. And it seems to work perfectly. I'm going to have a look around to see what else I can do on here. What's this? Thank, thank. Oh, all right. If you want to do a little thank you picture. Well, it's complicated. A little thank you. Yeah, that's really good. What else can we do? Oh, let's get off of that. Anything else? Anything else? Festivals. There's quite a lot of um, choices, templates to do. Post it. Okay. Label. Math test paper. Ooh, language assessment. Ooh, chemicals. Ooh, do that, shall we? What do you do here? Print. What's this? Print paper says, what do I Gab label, non-gab label, what's that? Please select the paper type first time. Oh, that's weird. I might press the wrong one now. Oh, that worked. Right, it's putting in a gap, I'll get it, I'll get it. 
Yeah, but it worked, look. Chemical. Yeah, pretty good. Don't know what I'm doing, but it works. As you can see, I've been playing about a bit, and yeah, it seems to be working fine. You know, chemical, little thing there, hello mum. You know, horses, a picture of me. Just to try it out, you know, you've got to do these things, haven't you? But I did find an issue, it's only a little minor issue, with the cartoonish portraits. Now I'm wondering if it's got anything to do with, uh, say for instance, the resolution of the actual image. But it says you can change it to an animated picture from original to that. I couldn't actually get that to work. I'm going to quickly show you now. I'm going to do a photograph of myself. And you can actually turn this around as well. So like that. And I go, well, go should I go like that? Take a picture. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And when you're happy with that, go like that. And then you can choose what you want it to look like. So I'm going to go for a sketch. And it does that. But that's all it does. It doesn't seem to change anything. It just goes like that all the time. And I left that like that for like 10, 15 minutes and it was still doing it. So whether you need to leave it longer, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. But it doesn't seem to be working. That is the only issue I could find on the actual software. Now, it could be a bug in the software. It could be something to do with resolution. I don't know. But it wouldn't work or wouldn't work for me. Now, I did think, oh, perhaps... So if you go back, it says you want to cancel. I did think maybe because I wasn't looking at the camera. You know, you might have to look at it. So I'm going to try it the other way around. Just in case someone says, oh, Yorkie, you need to look at it. So I'm looking at it. Yeah. Picture of me. Picture of me again. Uh, we'll accept that. And I'm going to go for an illustration. See? Just does that all the time. I think it's work trying to work it out, but it might be my face. Yeah, apart from that, everything seems to be fine. I have played about with some of the software and I quite like it, so I'm going to cancel that and go back. So I've done texting. As you can see, I've done some texts. I don't know why it's come up like that. Let's close that. Some texts, they come out fine. Uh, document printing seems to work fine. You type in a word or you use a PDF file. That all works well. Web printing. I didn't actually do any web printing, but I would imagine you just pick, type in up there your the actual website or whatever it is. I didn't do no banner printing neither, but it all seems to be you know working fine. Just type in what you need it to say and things like that. And uh, yeah, very pleased with it. Very pleased the size of it. It is pocket size and it does fit in your pocket. So very pleased with that. It prints out, it's only black and white. I do believe you might be able to get a coloured one. I've seen coloured pictures, so I'm thinking, oh, perhaps you can get coloured ones. And there's quite a few different already pre-installed images for you to use. Come out of there. I keep doing that, don't I? For the money, if you're looking for something like this, this could be perfect. You know, it's not expensive, it's quite cheap. Well, I think it's very cheap, actually. It's reasonable reasonably price for what you are getting it's a labeler it's a image printer and it just works it's not fantastic quality but it works i like it let me know in the comments whether you like it or not so with that if you like this video let me know in the comments whether you like it or not and if you did like it and you're not subscribed consider subscribing and don't forget to give me a thumbs up thank you very much for watching